Hey there. What are we doing this weekend? What are we doing this weekend? Yeah, if you've ever been in a relationship or you have at least one friend, you've probably said that at some point. My name is Aaron Luna. My goal here is to keep you from saying, I don't know. Here we go. What are we doing this weekend? How about Frost Fest at Iron Goat? Brewers from across Washington will be in downtown Spokane at Iron Goat Brewing. You can chat with them, try their beers, just hang out. And if it makes a difference for you, every pint sold means a dollar will be donated to the Washington Brewers Guild. It helps them do beer stuff, and that's important. Also, if you've never been to Iron Goat, the burritos are big and delicious. Not necessarily in that order. We'll link a list of the brewers below. Next option, another New Year's celebration. What's better than one New Year's Eve? Two New Year's Eves. Eves is is. Eves. Two New Year's Eves. The Lunar New Year started this Tuesday, but is being celebrated this Saturday at the Spokane Pavilion. If you don't know, the Lunar New Year is an international holiday celebrated in many Asian countries, but not all of them. The Lunar New Year is based off of the moon's 12 phases, so the Lunar New Year won't fall on the same day each year. A lunar year is about 354 days long, and this year is the year of the tiger. Take that information, tell someone else, you're going to make yourself look real smart. Things start around 1 p.m. There will be food, artists, performances. You can win prizes like Spokane Chiefs tickets, restaurant gift cards. It's free, family friendly. If you want something a little more relaxed, how about a movie? Surprisingly, Rotten Tomatoes gave the movie Jackass Forever a 90% rating. Sounds like a good time. The old gang gets back together to hit each other in the testicles and do wild stunts. What's not to love? Also, if you want another good laugh, Moonfall is out as well. A couple astronauts have to save the Earth from, get this, the moon. Well, NASA and I aren't really on speaking terms these days. Well, that'll change. Did not get good ratings, but if you love bad movies, this one is the one you want to watch. Might I suggest going to Frostfest first and then to this movie, as this flick should probably have a two-drink minimum. Once again, I'm Aaron Luna. We'll see you next week.